Okay guys, we have our first unboxing. Uh, this is my second box from Bespoke. I didn't do one on the first one because, you know, it escaped my mind. But this is a uh, little bit different than some of the other boxes. You can actually, they'll give you a default uh, package. Then you can add, remove things from it for your uh, gift. Um, Taken away, I don't know if it lowers the price. I know adding things to it increases the price, but it's a $45 a month subscription, comparable to the rest of those. But I've already opened it and dug through it. But here we go. Okay, so first, got a little pouch of stuff in it. If you guys want the address, it is bespokehost.com. Feel free to check it out. This is not sponsored by them. This is just something I did on my own. Uh, first in the box, the biggest, uh, we have a, well, it's a journal for the most part from North Books. Journal to your heart's content. Something I don't do much, but it's a nice, it's a nice decent book. I do like it. I think the wife will probably end up using that. Uh, you got the little flyer that shows you everything in there. A little spoiler alert. And this one is geared towards, uh, I won't necessarily say history. I don't know if you guys can actually make that out. If you guys want it, you can pause it and read some of it. That's pretty much it for the box. Let's get to the little bag here. Okay, so first things first, you might notice. It's a really lightweight wood. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys can hear the sound of it over the server running in the next room. It's not a bad knife. It's a, uh, I don't know if I'll say it right. Open all maybe is it open L or open all. It's the Enox. That's not a bad knife. Now, off the bat, it doesn't lock, but it does have a locking mechanism there, so. This isn't one I would, of course, the phone would go off. Sorry about that. This isn't one I would do any, you know, hardcore stuff with. Maybe a little bit of carving. It does feel like it's got a nice sharp edge on it. I don't know if it'll... I don't know if it's actually sharp enough to shave. Oh yeah, got a little. I don't know if it shows up in the camera or not, but yeah, there's a little there. So it does have a nice uh, edge on it. You know, for just an all-around pocket knife, it's really not bad. And you can lock it closed, so. So we got that. That is upside down. Line of trade. That is one heavy duty bottle opener. I mean, seriously, that thing has some weight to it. I wouldn't even begin to guess. Uh, I don't know how to compare it. Um, yeah, if that tells you anything, it's. I think it's about as heavy as my phone is, really. So, yeah. Got that. Next thing we got that I have never ever owned in my life. I'm not sure how to say it. Quaco. And you probably already guess what it is. So if I can hold on to it. It is a fountain pen. I've never had one in my life. Now this one is plastic. Um, 
Like I said, I've never had one, so I don't know anything about them. And it comes with some refills and stuff, so. Yeah, I guess you just put the uh, tubes in there and just clamp it down. I guess it uh, kind of punctures like a butane tank or something. But yeah. But yeah, there we go. So we got the nice little book, got the open old knife, we got the bottle opener, the fountain pen, and some refills. And I don't know if I have anything laying around from the last week I can show you, or last month. Let me look here real quick. Okay, last month probably isn't going to fit in the shot, but they uh, shipped out this bag. It's a line of trade brand. It's actually a nice canvas uh, bag, to be honest. Leather straps to closer. Nice sturdy aluminum frame. But they also sent some rugby style socks that I will probably never ever wear. Just too thin, not my style, so. Got that. Where did it go to? Got some cuffs links by Ezra Arthur. Something again I'll never use. And I forgot to look at it, but uh, Elio and Jack, I'm guessing this is probably beard wax or something. And you guys know I do have a beard going, but this is something again I'll never use. I think this was my free package, so I didn't really bother messing with it or changing anything so well yeah there we go so that ends this unboxing um i don't have a whole lot of subscribers but if anyone might be interested in this i'll reach out to them or you guys can direct them to this video or whatever and i'll see if maybe we can get a uh discount or something on the first month's order you know some along those lines so that'll be it for this little uh unboxing video. Um, I'll probably do one of these a month. Uh, it depends on how everything goes. Uh, if I remember to, you know, I'm getting old. I forget. So but yeah, there we go. And I think after I'm done here, I'm going to break this uh, journal open, the fountain pen, and see how well I can write with it. So yeah, I'll catch you guys again. Thumbs up if you like, thumbs down if you didn't. And if you didn't like it, let me know what I can improve. Thank you. Have a good week, guys.